Hello, welcome to the Football Terrace. I hope you're all doing wonderfully well. So a little bit of a, not so much an out there video, we do talk about the social media spectrum connected to fan football media. And of course, tonight is a big, big night for, for our little genre, for our little uh, community. We have Ransom Bantz versus Kieran. If you don't know who Kieran is, he's obviously the son of DT, fighting at the O2, 7pm, I think the, the event kicks off. And it's going to be an interesting night. There is no doubt at all in my mind. There are some, I, I don't really know who anybody else is that's fighting, but there's going to be some good white collar boxing some celebrities or some... I've told they're celebrities. I don't, I don't mean it rudely. I just don't watch a lot of TV. Apart from like box sets. And I don't think these guys have been in Lufa or Power or anything like that. But anyway. Rance is, is fighting Kieran. And it's an interesting one for me. Because I know Rance quite well. We speak on a regular basis. And he looks sharp. He looks quick. I know he's done boxing in, in spells for large parts of his life, played at a high level of football, so from an athletic point of view, very good. And he is up for this fight. He is confident, he's sharp, he's trained really, really hard over the past few months to get himself, eight weeks or so, to get ready for this fight. Kieran, again, I've, I've met him recently for the first time. Nice lad, really, really nice lad. Uh, very polite and humble in the way he addressed me, equally as confident. Completely admitted to me that had never boxed before, but has had fights and in, in other sort of walks of life and other disciplines prior um, to taking up boxing. And he's confident. He feels that he is the younger man, the fitter man, the better athlete. And he also believes the better boxer. He has had training, and we've seen some of the stuff come out from on DT's sort of accounts over the past few days. Kieran has had training from some very well-established boxing professionals. So that makes it a fair fight. There are a lot of people worried about that, and and for me, it does make it fair. In terms of who's going to win and and, and the direction this fight's going to go in, it's a tough one for me, because this isn't a street fight. This isn't even MMA, this is boxing, which is a very different discipline with a referee who's only going to who's only going to allow you to fight in a particular way. And what I mean by the MMA comment is that you can, there's of course there are rules. You can't do certain things, but you can punch and kick in, in and especially punching from boxing point of view. You can punch in different ways in MMA to what you can do in um, boxing. Like you can't hammer fist, you can't do a spinning back fist and things like that in boxing. You get disqualified. That's that's my point. Can't hit when a man's on the floor, which you could in a street fight or an MMA fight. Anyway, so it's boxing. So I feel that the big advantage is with Rance. Although he may not have had many fights in front of an audience this size with, with the kind of pressure and the lights and the, and the attention. And there is really big attention in the social media sphere on this. I know a lot of YouTubers again tomorrow. I believe it's pretty much a sellout. You know, that's, that's a few thousand people. So there is all of that. But in terms of your boxing skills and your proficiency, Rance outweighs him. On paper, this is all on paper, by the way, and I don't mean any disrespect to anybody, on paper, Rance outweighs him. Equally, we haven't seen any real footage of Kieran throw a punch, box, footwork, movement, and we have of Rance. So in terms of where your mind's at, if you're, if you're going to put a bet on this fight, I don't know if you can actually put bets on it, but if you could, uh, my money would go on Rance, purely because he's got, he's got that boxing background. However, this is fighting. And when it comes to fighting, there is, there is nothing to say that Kieran can't step up on the night. There's nothing to say he isn't better. Of course, we haven't seen the footage. And it, it becomes, a, it's been a really nice set of mind games between both camps. And I've really enjoyed sitting alongside it. And of course, DT and his side have told me certain things and Rant's side have told me things, which I haven't shared. And I'm not going to share in this video because they've told me that in confidence, they've told me that in private. And if they do watch this video, they will see that as well. They, they will literally see that I'm not sharing any any information they've given, any tactics, any concerns, anything they may be confident about. That's the leave for them. I'm not going to hinder them in any way, shape or form. I've really enjoyed the mind games though. Rents has, has, has demonstrated and released a number of videos and vlogs. There's been lots of footage of him sparring, hitting bags, skipping, a lot of his movement. 
I've seen some people compliment it. I've seen other people disregard it. And even within that, there could be a mind game. So you, you, one could say, right, let's show off how good we are to really make Kieran nervous. Equally, you could say, right, let's, let's, let's film 10 seconds here and 20 seconds there. But let's film it with me doing things I'm not actually going to do on the night. Or maybe I'll, I'll, be, I'll be like a split second slower or I'll be a little bit sloppy in my movement to, to, to try and lure them into a full sense of security. Conor McGregor did that exact same thing in a number of videos before some big MMA fights. He would continually show like videos of him doing a particular technique and movements and then never threw that technique or that movement or that kick at all on the night to try and throw his opponent. Or he'd make himself look sluggish and maybe look like he's a bit out of shape to try and lower the, to increase the confidence levels and maybe make a guy overlook him. So within that, there's like layers of mind games. And then you've got DT and Kieran's side. For weeks, there wasn't a post, a tweet, a, a murmuring at all about how things were going with Kieran and his camp. I even saw people talking about maybe they're going to pull out, maybe he doesn't really want this, maybe he's seen Rance's footage and he, he, he's not up for it. I, I heard all sorts of rumours. And then over the last three weeks, there's been, been a bit more and more. And you think, okay, is this DT now and, and Kieran reacting because they're nervous? Or is it actually because what they're going to do is just, they're going to they're give us very, very little. They're going to give nothing away in an attempt to kind of play a bit of reverse psychology onto, onto Rants. So maybe make him overconfident and think, I've got this in the bag. It's going to be easy. There's going to be no problems here. So maybe, you know, it takes 10% off training, 20% off training while they're still working hard. Or it could be, I'm just going to like temper the idea of releasing information, talk confidently about what we're doing. We're going to silence him. The video, of course, that was released by DT tonight, all at the very last minute, that element of if Rance watches it and sees something he's worried about or he sees something that, oh, God, they're powerful punches or that's really good movement. There's no time to work on anything new. It's the night before the fight. So the mind games from both sides have been great and everybody's going to have a varying opinion. Rance's camp friends, supporters are going to think one thing. Kieran's DTs are going to think another. For the, you know, I'm, I'm going to sit here in the middle and, and look at it from both sides. I've told you who I think is going to win. I do think Rance will win the fight. And that doesn't mean that Kieran is going to embarrass himself. It doesn't mean I think, I think Kieran's going to do a bad job. I just feel that the amount of boxing Rance has done in his life compared to Kieran will outweigh it in, in, in this instance. That's all. Um, but aside from all of that, my biggest want from the fight, and maybe my biggest concern, is that this doesn't squash the beef. I get the sense... I just get the feeling if Kieran wins, there might be a handshake in the ring, but then there'll be more attacking and more goading and more bantering, uh, even more so than in the lead-up to the fight and prior to it being agreed from DT's side. And I'm not saying necessarily from DT, but from his people and his supporters, which is only going to engulf things further. I feel if Rents wins, I get the sense it could be a kickoff on the night. And nobody wants that because spectators are paying good money. They're raising money for charity. Of course, this is boxing. We should be respecting the, 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 the art form and the sport in itself. And I just get, I just, I get this little feeling tomorrow night, something's going to boil over, something's going to kick off, something's going to happen, whether it's friends talk, giving, talk, talking trash to each other in the crowd, whether it's a, a decision that people aren't happy with. Because what I really want is for both sides to respect each other, the fighters to shake hands, DT and Rance to shake hands, and you know what, we both, we both probably went too far at times, when, when families and dads and mums and wives and assaults and all craziness came up. And listen, I spoke to both about this. I've asked them both the same question. I like, do not think you went too far. And they both kind of defended themselves and said, no, he said this, so I retaliated. He said this, so I retaliated. And it's great. But there comes a point in any kind of feud where I think you have to draw a line under it. And so I really hope there's not a draw in the fight because I think that will perpetuate it further. So my hope is that it goes off without any real flare-ups. And I'm talking in the crowd. Because again, it flaring up in the crowd, I don't want to be involved in that. 
You don't know where it's going to happen in the crowd. You don't want to be involved in a damn mass brawl. What I don't want to see is somebody win, maybe someone knock someone out, and then some idiot jumping in the ring and throwing punches, and it all got like that's like for me. It would just mar the whole situation. And, and I think that what you want is a good fight between the two of them. They've worked hard. They've trained hard. You know, they're putting their, you know, their bodies on the line to entertain people, to raise money for charity, and to end a feud. But when you end it in that ring, you end it. And it's almost, let's go back to, this is an area of old school that I think should be revisited more. You have a bit of a fight, a bit of fisticuffs, and at the end of it, you shake hands. And it's done then. It's over. Whether you, and do you know what? Even if you lose, you gain respect from your opponent because you had the balls to go in there in the ring and fight. That, that's how fighting always is, has been in my lifetime, and it's how it always should be. Even if you don't like each other, you should, you know, there's that respect. You see many, many boxers. I mean, some of the things they say to each other and lead, lead up to fights on a much bigger scale. Friends years after fighting because they, you build up a camaraderie. I'm exchanging punches with you. I've grown an affection, almost a, a level of affection towards somebody. But we're going to see what's going to happen. I'd love your, your comments below. Please smash the like button. Put your predictions in the comments for who you think is going to win the fight. Take care. God bless. And we'll see you all again soon.